There are really only two types of people who buy movies. Those who still buy physical discs to get the best possible picture and audio experience, and then there are those who buy or rent the digital versions of movies out of convenience. One company has found a way to bridge the gap between having the convenience of a digital movie while still maintaining the quality of a physical disc. To help us understand this luxury product and accompanying service is Luke O'Brien, Chief of Content Operations for Kaleidoscape. Welcome to Movie University, a channel where all things movie related are covered. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe, rate this video, and leave a comment below. If you subscribe to this channel, chances are you're a movie enthusiast like I am. While I prefer physical media, I stream movies and TV shows as much as the next person. While physical sales have dropped considerably over the last several years, people still buy movies on disc because of the audio and video superiority when comparing to streaming. Not to mention, you usually get a decent amount of behind-the-scenes content. Kaleidoscape is obsessed with giving its customers the highest level of video and audio quality, with their final product almost matching what comes out of a movie studio editing bay. The studio provides us with their highest quality mezzanine file. So they create a mezzanine file that goes out that they provide to the field that people can make it uh, available. We take that and we transcode that with minimal compression into a Kaleidoscape form movie that can be downloaded onto our servers. So you're gonna see extraordinarily large file sizes because we're not bound by the size of the disc like black box Blu-rays are. Uh, and we're not streaming, which means you're not going through this constant compression decompression cycle like you're going to see on streaming services in order to have this beautiful source file that then lives uh, in your home theater. There are several benefits of Kaleidoscape getting a mezzanine file from a movie studio. Since you will have downloaded the movie to a Kaleidoscape server in your home, you will have a much larger and more robust copy of the movie you're watching. What I mean by robust is that typically, the first files to get stripped down from a movie over streaming are the audio files. This is why surround sound for movies aren't all that great, as some of you may have noticed when you stream. However, a lot of people are too engrossed by the visuals to pay attention to audio. The next thing that'll get stripped are the files that are associated with high dynamic range coloring and contrast. By downscaling the fidelity of surround sound and then the files for HDR, Streaming platforms can save a boatload on file size. It varies wildly from depending on what quality level the studio file came at. So I, I was looking as I was thinking about this meeting coming through what some of our largest movie downloads are. Lawrence of Arabia in 4K on our system is 115 gigabytes for the film. So that's that's pretty large. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what you're going to get when you have a four hour movie uh, that was sort of gorgeously mastered at the top level in 8K, and uh, they create this MES file version in 4K that's absolutely stunning that can come out to the field. This is because the movie's complete, uncompressed surround sound soundtrack is included on top of all of the HDR files encoded in the movie alongside the full 4K resolution. While Mark didn't give any details on how Kaleidoscape proprietary software does what it does, it is impressive the quality that comes out on the other end. It's not about enhancement. It, it's a. It's about um, presenting the movie as the director intended it, and so we get that video file in, and we run it through a transcoding process. So we take that raw mezzanine asset that's come through, and we transcode it into a Kaleidoscape uh, proprietary secure format, so that we can offer it on the store. Uh, and then we're, we're able to supplement that with added things. We're, we're able to capture the aspect ratio. All of the things that give you the nudges to a true cinematic experience are programmed in metadata that we're then sharing out with you. So if you have a home theater that's installed, you can have it set up so that as you press play, the lights in your theater dim. We've got cues that are providing that information for you. As the If you hit pause to create an intermission, the lights will come up to half width. When the movie comes to the uh, credit 
its line, just like in a movie theater, lights are going to begin to raise up so that it comes through and you're able to do that. So you're able to create those small moments at home that allow you to kind of dive into the immersive experience. To get those mezzanine files, Kaleidoscape has agreements with a plethora of studios to ensure it has movies you want to watch in the quality you expect from the company. And to answer your question, yes, you do indeed have to own a Kaleidoscape product to watch the movies. You cannot simply download the movie files from them and then play them back. What do you guys think about Kaleidoscape? Let me know in the comment section below. This is Movie University, education in cinema.